The rapid rise in obesity and diabetes has led to an epidemic called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, which plagues about 25% of the world's population. NAFLD is the accumulation of fat, which, left untreated, can progress to advanced fibrosis, cirrhosis, and primary liver cancer termed hepatocellular carcinoma, which is the third leading cause of cancer-related death, claiming over 700,000 lives annually. Unfortunately, due to the complex nature of the disease and its association with various risk factors, there is no approved pharmacotherapy. In certain diseases, for instance, cardiovascular diseases are more severe in males than in females. Are there disparities in males versus females when it comes to NAFLD prevalence and severity? Several preclinical studies of mice fed with a high-fat diet or Western diet have shown NAFLD developed more severely in male mice compared to female mice. Inflammation and fibrosis are more severe and take a shorter time to develop in male mice. This is also observed in humans, in which different molecular profiles are observed in men compared to women with NAFLD. A study on the global epidemiology of NAFLD, published in a leading hepatology journal, highlighted that the incidence and prevalence of NAFLD are higher in men compared to premenopausal women aged 50 and under. Conversely, NAFLD tends to be more severe in women after menopause. Notably, postmenopausal women on hormone replacement therapy, HRT, showed a lower prevalence of NAFLD compared to those not using HRT. Meta-analysis also indicated in the paediatric population, NAFLD is more prevalent in boys than in girls, both in obese clinics and the general population. The primary reason premenopausal women are protected against NAFLD is the presence of the female sex steroid hormone estrogen. The liver expresses estrogen receptors which indirectly influence liver function and the pathogenesis of NAFLD. Research conducted on mice has demonstrated the protective effect of estrogens against NAFLD, while male sex hormone testosterone and androgens tend to promote the development of hepatic fibrosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. In humans, there have been suggestions and ongoing research on estrogen supplementation in postmenopausal women, which is being considered as a potential approach. Ultimately, weight loss remains the most effective treatment for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, with a target of 10% to reverse its progression. Men and postmenopausal women should be particularly mindful of their dietary intake and strive to adopt healthier eating habits. Additionally, considering the molecular differences between males and females is crucial in enhancing our understanding of NAFLD's pathophysiology and developing targeted therapies in the era of personalized medicine.